Now, a Swiss breakthrough may soon change how we recycle our electronics. Researchers at uh, the ETH University have found a greener, cheaper way to recover rare earth metals from e-waste, boosting sustainable recycling and cutting mining dependence. Rare earth elements play a crucial role in modern electronics, powering everything from fluorescent lamps to magnets in hard drives to wind farm generators. Currently, less than 1% of rare earth materials are recycled and that is because separating these elements requires an immense amount of energy and chemicals, which makes the process incredibly expensive. This is what Swiss researchers are hoping to solve to make rare earth e-waste recycle an affordable option. So currently recycling rates are really low, so you, below 1% is the number that we usually give. Um, I would say the main reason for that is that uh, the demand from the mining industry is, is really controlled by a few countries, especially China, which controls over 90% of the refining on the, of these elements, and so there's a bit of price dumping that goes uh, hand in hand, and so without the proper regulations or the proper innovations to kind of like push the recycling of these elements, uh, it's really hard to, to do so. Now, researchers have, de have developed a new method that allows for efficient separation of rare earth elements through a simple process. I mean, at the moment, we've only done it on lab scale. So, like, what you get in the end is, like, very small quantities of earth oxide. So, this is why the scale-up now is interesting, because if we produce enough uh, material, then we have industrial partners who are going to use it uh, in their processes. And I think this, for me, will really be the next milestone, is, like, when you see the recycled product being used in, like, a daily product. The discovery comes as the European Union intensifies its push for more recycling uh, driven by environmental, environmental concerns and geopolitical pressures as well. Under EU's 2023 Critical Raw Material Act, the goal is to mine 10% process, 40% and recycle 25% of their raw material needs by 2030.